one. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Frankfurt Major 2015 Open Qualifiers with me, the Morality Clause, and my uh, caster, I guess, Sander. <laughs> Can't really call you a co-caster. That's and... fine. Got me anything. <laughs> <laughs> right then, my... Uh, <laughs> no, you're stuck. Yeah, no, I'm not going to be offensive here. Anyway, uh, here we have Team Empire placing versus UK Dota as we follow Team Empire on their road to the to the fight to the qualifiers, closed qualifiers, I guess. Which is kind of interesting. We've got these open qualifiers so people can get to the closed qualifiers so that they can get to the actual tournament. Great. Yeah, it's like you go from the now you go from open qualifiers to qualifiers. To tournament, and in tournament you probably have like first like was it round robin idea into then a playoff series. So it's great, it's great. Pro teams are probably looking forward to this. Anyway, Ten let's get into this. Yeah, you can see that uh, now the enemy they know what the strong hero is, and that's Doom. That hero, everybody picks it kind of up now. I think it's just like a couple of days away from being first band material. Yeah, maybe. Like, we will see. We will see. But you are right. The Scorched Earth buff, alongside with the just in general, him being flavor of the month again. Eventually, he will get banned out. First phase, maybe. Maybe second phase. I think yeah, Empire's probably. Empire is setting up. They're, they're gonna go for Broadmother. I'm gonna call oh, it. Although they're playing against a Doom and Bounty Hunter, I think they will do it. But that would be very interesting. I would like to see that. Yeah, me as well. Yeah, Just but they are going for different refs now on Team Empire, so... Yeah, they go Queen of Pain and Earthshaker, both very, very uh, re reliable heroes. Just versatile in their own right. They have their strengths and weaknesses, but... Oh! Yeah, that's the good hero against Doom. You can, you can only Doom someone once before you have your refresher, so... If you pop it on Rave King the first time before his reincarnation, he's like... Well, thank you. You have some more? Just it all. Yeah, you're it throw it on me. You don't even pop a blade mill just before he does it. Take some more damage. Screw you. <laughs> Great. Uh, the good old Boner King. We will no doubt have fun casting this guy. Yeah, that's, uh, there are still a bunch of counters against it in the form of... Of course, of course. I see you still have an anti-mage comes up to mine straight away. No, not really. It doesn't really drain mana. That's one problem. It is a good yeah, counter though. Good. It guides around Wraith King and that says yeah. yeah. Because just keeping the Wraith King still and not only that, being able to glimpse him back. <laughs> Great. Especially if he blinks in. That's awesome. But here we have an Ancient Apparition, so... Yeah, that's like one of the things that's also fairly strong against Doom. And any hero that is uh, based around regeneration. Though so suddenly you can't use the Scorched Earth's buff to your advantage. Suddenly you're only dealing damage and moving slightly faster. You're not do regening much because this guy will definitely have an ice blast on you. Yeah, there are bends and the Winter Wyvern. I don't. Why well, they have one uh, melee here right now, but I don't think they had to ban out the Winter Wyvern here. No, not really. It, it feels a bit convoluted. It feels a bit like they were banning out of just knowledge. Let like Empire does pick up a Winter Wyvern, maybe. But yeah. well, they pick it up mostly as not dire. in this case. Well, most yeah. teams pick up Winter Wyvern on Dire just because you yeah. can go from the Asians easily over it. Yeah, because that's just, you know, the flying vision is great. And here we have not only the vision, of course, the movement as well. And of course, the Shadow Fiend will be picked up by Die. So they definitely know what they're doing. Uh, because they know that if they don't pick up the Shadow Fiend, Team Empire will almost certainly will. Maybe they have Queen of Pain already. And I think Empire is going to go aggressive. Very aggressive, actually. You just they have a Queen of Pain. Chi no, you just get Chilling Touch, Wave uh, Fire Blast, or the uh, Fissure to initiate. And then follow up with the other one. Slept two, three times, and you kill someone. This raptor is an incredible weak laner until level four, five ish. Yeah. Bounty you know, hunters. Just... No. Doom. <laughs> no. Like they, they, they can match up. Like Doom yeah, is they have a shit. Really it's... good. They have a really good ganking lineup. Just the Earth Shaker, the Ancient Apparition, all great. The Wraith King uh, can come in. If once he gets his blink as well, he'll be able to just to jump on people and stun them up instantly. Wait for the Ancient Apparition to ult. Maybe you'd have the Queen of Pain as backup. That's it. They've and done... they the room, Empire doesn't have late game though with the way they're looking at it now. Doom is just a bit too strong in the late game with the Shadow Feet next to it. Yeah, Queen of Pain falls off too much. Rave King of course gets guided around a bit. Maybe so. they're looking to win just a, a few through the sheer mid game because the Bounty Hunter will... Well, le less game. We couldn't even reach mid game. 
I just forgot. Maybe. Almost here, crafting is almost useless when you're watching a pro team versus a uh, <laughs> normal team. Well, let's just put it this way: these guys got through the round, uh, through the first round, one oh two four, first three rounds even. So they are into the fourth round now, and they have to have some viability to. Uh, Could you check their oh, MMRs maybe once we're in game? Hang on a sec. Um, the entire team empire is disconnected. Okay, that's gonna be a problem. You're correct in that one. Oh, yo, yo, what's, what's. So, they pick up in. I think this might just be a visual bug. Something, because they were able to pick up something, and I don't see anything on the right side showcasing that they are disconnected. Uh, that probably happens. We'll probably see once we get into game. But just looking at it right here. Well, well, let's go back to the picks and drafts. We'll focus about technical difficulties lately. This Rubik pickup, it's actually pretty good. The, if the Doom doesn't Doom the Rubik, then the, suddenly you have a free Doom. Disruptor is just free spells all around. All his spells are really good to take. And the only ones who... He, he, even Shadow Rays actually is in benefit no, of Rubik. You, Shadow Rays is bad, I'd say. Uh, Requiem of Salt is good. Uh, Bounty Hunter, his track is good as well as Invisibility is also good. I mean, and really... Sort of Okay, yeah. no, they are definitely all disconnected. I think all the spells in this game, other than maybe raises, which, you know, you never know. Maybe the ruby can use it to its advantage, are probably just great spells to steal. So I'm just adding real fast. Trying to add anybody oh, no, from the Empire as friends. Hello, her dance has reconnected to the game. That was a misclick. Here we go. Okay, I have everybody added as a friend. So... At least the uh, Team UK Dota is already already. That's We're not getting... something you see every day. Indeed. <laughs> so. So let's see for them. Gundraw is going to be playing a Shadow Fiend. Big Man is Slaughter. Welp is Bounty Hunter. Faudal is Disruptor. And Mute 242 is the Doom. Well, these guys have sets. So already we know that these guys maybe though have some inkling of how to play dota but you know it's no, no, that's no. going off stats that's going off sets of course no <laughs> look at disruptor no set what do you oh, think okay he sucks reported <laughs> <laughs> shadow fiend has whoa one requiem multi kill i hope he just got it shadow race co three shadow race combination two yeah i wouldn't bet on his shadow fiend here Depending on how long he got these uh, Immortals and Arcanas. Arcana has been out for a long time now. This is ballsy. What, the Arcana Shadow Fiend? Yeah, click on him. Look at the stats in his item. Have a look. And tell me that you're still are okay with their sets. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. Yeah, that's... I hope he has. I hope he only got that recently. <laughs> to be honest, for his sake. Yeah, because this is, is going to be a tough game if he hasn't been. I mean, Yoki mid uh, Queen of Pain versus a Shadow Fiend. Yikes! Get her all back now. Just going to pick their heroes now, and then we can get into the game. As this is last time we did so, and a complete absolute stomp again. So let's see how it goes. Right then, and I will... Wow, Rubik looks bugged. Oh, okay, sorry, that's just his cosmetic being all weird. Anyway. Now, that's just people loading in into the game. It always looks weird. Hey, look <laughs> at your Jager. <laughs> He's reaching for the sky. Whoa! Anyway. Take right, me home, daddy. I will... okay, oh, I was fine. actually... Whoa, sorry. I was looking at the fountain, not at him. <laughs> Misclick. Well, uh, anyway... Should I present Team Empire then, since you've all these yeah, you presented ahead. UK? All right then, Empire, no fun. Well, sorry, for Team Empire on the side of the Radiant, no fear, playing the Ancient Apparition, Silent playing the Wraith King, Aloha Dance playing his Rubik, who had received a Rampage last game, Yoki playing his Queen of Pain, and Resolution playing the Earthshaker. Yeah, guys, put in your beds now. Are we going to see another Loa Dance? Rampage or will this game actually go differently? Will we go past this 12 minute mark before the GG is called? Put in the bets now Not with me though because I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, we don't bet. We're supposed to be unbiased. Yeah But 50 on Empire Yeah, Damn. pretty much Empire is like 
Ninety ten percent. Even I mean, if, not even draft wise, just because they're Empire. Yeah, that's the problem. Like the thing is, you can't. It's it's all these amateur teams going up against professional teams. It's like you can't help but not be biased, uh, but for Empire. Like no, you have to be biased for Empire. That's the problem. It's because they just know yeah, a lot more from experience. It's just a difference in level. You have a team that goes to major lands and has been doing this for so long in the competitive level against a team that you don't even know because UK Dota is something I've never heard of before. Well, anyway, so... Well, maybe we'll see some good startup here. Maybe they'll be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Empire. Now, that would be something interesting to see. But we'll see, of course. Are they, they just sack the offlane? What? Of Are they just YOLOing no. this? No, I think Mute is just going to eat a creep in his own jungle, which is actually a misplay. Go into the enemy um, jungle. Go there. You have the two supports here doing nothing, essentially, which is a bit weird. Bound Hunter does have uh, the nice items to arrest out. So, but Bound there's already a sentry. actually going in, to, going in for... Oh, well, no. Well, the sentry's going to help him out there, and here comes no help. Uh, no fear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, look at the damage. And he's got Blink as well. Well, but. he's going to escape. Uh, misplay by well. There. Mute is actually gonna go jungle. What? Jungle dude. No. Oh no. Oh. He gets a, he gets a TP and a health pot, and he, so he's gonna go then to bot. That's that's a mistake. As I said, you need to go in the enemy jungle and take something there. You have a bounty hunter. Just help him. Let him scout out. What a raise. Top notch says Dota TV. Well, I'd like to see you do better, especially versus Empire. Indeed. The pressure is the pressure of, of our playing against a team like this is also pretty high. You have to think about it. If these go, these players probably know what they're up against. Yeah, most people do know Team Empire. Um, so it's it's just you know you you already feel the pressure. You're probably being you probably know you're being watched by us, and you probably know that we're going to be incredibly critical of you. <laughs> yeah, you, it's easier to spot mistakes uh, than it is to see a good play most of the time anyhow. As you oh, look at this disruptor, well. this is a this is a miss. This is well, so well. Well, so gonna feed first blood. Oh, you will. I wasn't even looking there. I was looking at top. I saw uh, Faudo going on aggressive, but because he has a point in kinetic field, that's kind of iffy. You need to get uh, glimpse always, like nine ten times. Glimpse always better, and even here, then you can glimpse him back into a yeah into a crush. I really don't understand this 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 level. It's it, I mean I can partially understand it, but the thing is is that when are you going to kinetic field? Uh, securely without a glimpse. Yeah, it's... like you need setup, and the problem is the uh, only way to do it is when you look at the animation of Earthshaker, you actually see him cast a skill, or when you have Slada being able to get a crush down. But even then, then the first thing that you do as an Earthshaker is always to throw down a stun. Yeah, so you can pretty much just combo almost during the entire time that they're trying to do that. That said, at the continue. moment, Yoki is not having it that easy. He's been able to deny up a lot, but in that, at the same time, Kimochi is able to get some less hits. And his Observer Ward for Empire is going to be dewarded. This is a bit... They put down a sentry themselves, so they know... And uh, Team UK Dota did know that they did it down. Dewarded it, and I put one. Is, the mid at least is not going too badly. In fact, Resolution is pushing up very far here. No Glimpse, they can't go in. <laughs> See, this yeah, is yeah. why you take glimpse. He just walks back. Let's say, you know, the glimpse range is, of course, terrible. Level one. Yeah, but still, you know, you have a chance, you maybe. Yeah, you can still, you know, like uh, gain some levels and take like two levels in glimpse and take one level in thunder strike. You never see pros taking kinetic field like very early. No, it's it's, they, they it's really get it around. Yeah, you, you usually get it around level seven, eight, I believe. Four. Four. Maybe they, you, really go, you go one, one. Then in, uh, another one in your glimpse. Oh, uh, resolution! Looks like he's in a bit of trouble. Oh, here. yeah, he is going to be go he's gonna be dead. They just need one more tap here, the love tap from Welp coming out. 1 1 here. It's already going a lot better for UK Dota than it was for Old Stanley or whatever the name was. But now Yoki has a bottle. And he is bottle crowing it as well. Yeah, he's being out farmed though by Shadow Fiend here. A 16 uh, stacks up, so it's, it's able to pretty easily take less hits if timed correctly. Of course. Well, Yoki's being ballsy here. In fact, he even loses his life. What was that, Yoki? I wasn't looking there. I wasn't expecting him to die with another with no rotation in. That was the double raise combo from Kimochi here. 
Yeah, we might Ritchie. just have a real, real game on those hands here. Yes. But still, it's, it's early in the game. Mute two for two is uh, able to send in lane for now. They're not really. They're trying to push him out a bit, but he's still able to get his experience. Has scored Earth ready when he needs it. And uh, yeah, if they want to get the skill, they they need to smoke up a bit. All right, now 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 Empire should notice at this point. This will not be a pushover like the last game. Yeah, they're not already. Was it eight to ten kills ahead? <laughs> no, eight to zero or something. It's like yeah, great. Yeah, they they need to to play this one carefully. They're. Uh, the lineup of uh, Team UK Dota does have a big uh, peak at about 20 to 25 minutes. When it just got level 11 uh, Doom and the Slaughter has a blink as well as, re as Resolution as uh, the Shadow Fiend is gonna hit a lot at that point. Like there's the point where they really have to watch out a bit because there's where they drop off. But the Rave King he needs to get a bit more levels then. So. And that's a little bit troublesome as oh they block off the Doom here. Nice Fisher. He's gonna try and turn this one around on a lower dance, but uh, he just lifts him up, throws him back. He just needs two more hits, and he's not able to get it. He just gets blown up here in the end by the Fade Bolt. But at least they're keeping the Doom under control slightly. He's one death in, he's only got five last hits, so at least... That's at five least minutes, is, is, that's pretty much just devours. That's five minutes in. Yeah, but yeah. basically, you know, that's, at least they've got that. At least they've got that, because they Shadow Fiend, Sonic Wave, the death, main. yeah. Never uh, mind. I, I was watching it and it went from zero to uh, a lot in a short time. And some bot here again. The doom goes down. And lower dance will be the sacrificial lamp for this. That he does get off the dust just in time, meaning the whelp can't escape here. There we go. To get off a nice icy circle here, slowing him down, killing him off. Well, now the now now they're going to start. Now Empire starts rearing their head. They decided, all right, you know what, you know what, we're having enough of this. We're going to start playing, taking this a bit more seriously. Yeah, but it was just actually an over-aggressive move, I would say, yeah. from uh, UK Dot. I mean, it was just nicely planned, having rotation in from the from the Earthshaker with a uh, nice long race fissure. Yuki being forced now. Being able to grab all the last hits though, so... Pretty fine. And now Ancient Apparition. I don't know what he can exactly achieve with this Invis Rune, to be honest. <laughs> Or just no grab mana it for the sake of it. Yeah, no mana for anything. Oh, you can chilling touch now, but that's not going to help. Unless, yeah, no, no, see, because no, no. They tried to go aggressive on the wrong timing here. They are able to pick up the shadow fiend here. They just need one more click to hit. Okay, there you go. Actually, used to. But no, the glimpse comes in. Nice level two glimpse, but he just runs the entire, uh, just the other way straight away. Yeah, now Doom. He, he can't really lay now anymore for the silence. He's level 6, so he can just go aggressive and dive if he wants to. He just needs to make sure that he has enough mana. And with having threats to switch around, he's okay. There we go. He's, he's gonna dive now. He's gonna do it. He's not gonna stop. Oh, he's? Yes. Oh, damn man. Yeah, because Doom has just too much movement speed. It would not make any sense right now. Ah, go, go balls deep. She has Dota all the way. Thing is, though, it's like... Oh, no, 3 3 6. That's actually pretty good. I mean, he could follow, but... He would, he's out of mana using just that one Hellfire Blast. So, uh, might have been a calculation by him. Rather get the farm, make sure he got some secured gold rather than, you know, maybe killing the Doom, but maybe also losing your life in the process. Yeah, that's it. He's, he doesn't really have to. He's top of the of the leaderboard farm wise. He has two kills to his name as well to the. Was about six less, uh, less hits on Big Man. Who has an assist and no kills at all, so he, he, he's ahead for, yeah, about 700 gold. They're pretty good for him, probably for it. So he's gonna, he's pretty comfortable right now, uh, big man and Himochi both. I mean, big man is gonna, is pretty much free farming right now. Maybe Empire wanted to do something about that, but uh, so far so good. And Kimochi, those two deaths are probably gonna get him down a bit. He's 50 last is up though, which is good for 10 minutes. And it's not even 10 minutes yet, it's 8 minutes, so he's already doing pretty well for himself. Yeah, also the supports here, you saw them stacking, uh, both sides of the map are being stacked constantly by supports. Oh, there's a pick well, coming out. At least he's out. getting souls as well. Um... Let's see, they're, both teams are just a little bit more stagnating right now. There's just a Doom here on bot, and there are uh, three heroes from the side of Empire, so he has to take a step back. Aloha then goes in aggressive with the DD. Just wants to see where the Doom is at. We do have this nice water down on the pillar. So. They will 
Yeah, they were diving behind the tier one, so maybe they want to. Yeah, they just want to get this tower, and they're moving. They're standing aggressive here. As uh, actually, a UK Dota is going to look for something here on bot uh, mid. I mean, but yeah, level two glimpse uh, is not far enough. Yeah, pinging out the ward and de ward that, so at least taking away some vision for. Yeah, you should just stop uh, throwing down observer wards in this area. It's it's not worth it. Yeah, we can just take a quick look at the radiant vision here. You can see they have only this one pillar ward. And the Dyer has not a lot more actually, I think it's... They have actually no wards out at the moment. Do they have wards on anybody? Uh, I don't no. see anything, no, that's interesting. <laughs> they have something on the courier, no. Hm, weird. Actually, you either they're, they're completely are... dewarded or there's something else. I don't think so. I think the ward, I don't... No, ward cooldowns shouldn't be out by this point. I can just look at it, by the way. Uh, yeah, three uh, observer wards in stock. Let's look at current gold real fast. Okay, I forgot the key okay. for that. Oh, okay, have... down on the disruptor. That's a very dead disruptor. And this, just rotate in and take the tier one. Yeah. Okay, I just uh, I have the current gold on real fast. The supports have no money. About ten gold each currently. I guess that's what happens when you start stacking too much, like a lot. And that fact that disruptor has not like has not received anything. Just a dead. That's it, they're getting some good levels at the moment. There's almost level 6 on Bounty Hunter. So once they have track, they can start being aggressive a bit more. Well, now they're about to lose their tier 1 10 minutes in. And it's a very important tower to lose because it gives you that nice rush access. This also gives you a nice frontline access to the entire dire side of the map. Yeah, you need to either have your mid, uh, mid tower up or your or your bot tower. And losing one of the, both of them means that you, your rush access is a little bit, uh, a little bit harder. Still, it's doable. You're dire. You still have the advantage. You can still smoke and go through the secret shop if you absolutely have to. Oh, sh smoke and then go through to the mid lane if you need to. Go down the bot lane. There's still options. But, you know, you've got options. You are. <laughs> You're just waiting for the big boom. The like, when are they going to go and fight now? Big man, he has his blink, so he needs to become aggressive right now. He needs to pick up a TP and go to a lane, get a kill. Preferably with Bounty Hunter next to him. They need to just go together. Um, look at Therapy, instantly building up into a Sanj. Um, yeah, he's just gonna go Sanj Josh, yeah, that means that their mecha is most likely gonna oh be built up. Oh dear, Therapy's gonna get caught out here. Oh, there we go, the Fissure to finish it up. Queen of Pain gets the kill though. I thought Albus um, was, I think he got actually pushed out of the, uh, the uh, Fire Blaster. But they still kill him. I like it only scratched him, not uh, the... New damage from it. In a Dota TV set just pointed out, Corp still gets blown up without BKB. The problem is that she is very mobile, which means she doesn't even have to stay in the fight if she doesn't want to. She bought, bought a Fortune, so it's gonna be the Jules or the Side. I was Fight this to... early is gonna be interesting. I mean, she's 1.5. This Raptor smoked. Up. Whoa, that, that, might, that animation might have been seen there. Why the hell does he smoke up just before he places a ward? If he walked there and there was a ward, he would already been spotted. Now big man, he gets blood. They're gonna go after him to kill him up. They stole the, the amplified damage here, meaning a bounty oh, has to look no. out as well. Doom got hit by that, by that, by the ice blast, which means that they're probably gonna start pursuing new. No. Scorch Earth is used, but it doesn't really matter. It will, of course, more than lift out the. Uh, he wants to doom. He just saw the animation. He wanted to doom there, but decided against it. Yeah, there's no real target to go for. In fact, there's a swiftness aura upon him. I don't know if that's the best. I mean, it gives you a nice amount of new damage, but uh, I don't think that's the best creep you can take. I feel like Centaur gives you a bit more. He's just eating. There. He, he's just eating stuff. That's all there is to it. Like, there's now pack leader Aura is ready. You can get the uh, troll summoner. Let's see. You Which can would get, not even be bad. I you mean, can you get, get the net. You can get purchase mana drains, movement speed, and unholy aura from his own jungle. Well, so there's a bunch of options to go for. Uh, they're playing Empire now, playing four man Dota. They yeah, want to take an opportunity here. They know that there is a blink up, like that's why. And they also have their own blink. Silent, TPing top straight away. Yeah, they're gonna go for the fight now. They have every, all the ultimates are up. Though it's still level one ultimate on uh, Brave King. Fine though, I mean, even though, I mean, right now all he needs to do is beat like the tank, and even if he dies once, it's okay. And it's just a long cooldown, which is annoying. Oh, there you go, blink forward, big man still. Oh, it's, he's not gonna be able to, to blink from now on out because he gets hit by the AA Bless as well. It kills off the disruptor first, and now big man is gonna die as well. 
That was, that was not a. That was not good for UK though. Then. No, and I know that everybody is here as well because the observer watch spots out all the uh, rotations. All the rotations, yeah. So they should have just retreated back to behind the tower, maybe even further. Shadowfiend is too fast. Yeah, he's able to get out. And maybe even wait, you know, just just wait out to their initiation and then counter initiate themselves. But the problem is, is that the initiation just happened too quickly and too out of position for UK to take uh, advantage of. There's Dooman over here, but he's, at the moment he's just living through it. Yeah, there you go. He is still alive as he does oh, get now killed off by Welp. And now the Shadow Fiend is a little bit alone here. There we go. He gets killed off now. Yoki picking up that kill. They still have the reincarnation here, so there's no real reason for them to stop with Silent. Oh, now Yoki's found out he's not able to blink out here in time. Oh, nice Disruptor. Yeah, there we go. He's dead now as well. Reincarnation is popped. Are they able to follow this one up? They have a crush. Amplify damage comes out as well. Track here. Yeah, he is stuck. He is gonna die. Over aggression from Empire being punished straight away. It's a problem we're seeing a lot these days. It's the overconfidence after just a few good fights. You know, you start pushing forward being hyper aggressive because you can think you can basically run over the enemy team because you've been having those good fights. But the thing is, is that you have to always consider the circumstances under which you've been having the good time with these good fights. Like Empire just had fights where they were catching people out of position, but here there weren't many, too many people out of position. They were all positioned pretty nice and also like in a way that Empire was just punished the second they jumped in. Yeah, and with the track drills that also come with it, you can just see the drop straight away in extreme yeah. mode. It's it goes instantly. And but the mecha. Really, really okay, good. so bounty hunter is going to be the mecha carrier. It means Doom has now drum and some blade of attack, so he has his face boots done as well. Sanjay Yasha is almost complete on the shadow fiend here, so. Yoki has his yules. Low dance and nothing too special and urn. AA is the one put into position five here. No fear is uh, yeah. It's also the, his position on the roster, so the mean silent still only has his blade mill and his uh, his blink here. He's still 7.5k, he's about 2k ahead of everybody else. You still here, man? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. I'm looking through statistics, just trying to figure out what to receive. Right now, it doesn't. It looks okay, actually. I mean, after that, uh, good oh. fight. UK don't have brought it back, but now. Yeah, blink, this. kill. There we go. Let's kill him off. And he just gets glimpsed back straight into the bounty hunter. Who does? Of which he needs to run immediately. Disruptor will be able to survive through here. As now they're gonna go after the big man. Oh, he's able to survive through for now, but it won't be enough in the end. There is going to be the Echo Slam to control down Welp as he now gets finally killed off. Good job there by uh, Team Empire. They, once again, like, you know, these are the good fights they've been taking. They catch the team out of position. And an awkward position just, you know, punish that from UK Dota and be able to stun up the carry, make sure that the bounty hunter is controlled, and make sure, you know, just as that, like, everyone is in an awkward position to fight in and they just kill off everyone one by one and yeah, also they go into the fight split up already with the bounty hunter on one side and then they try to run in but the glimpse there from Fado was a little bit mistimed as well at least they caught rubik out into the uh static storm but the problem is they didn't kill him. that rubik yeah they didn't kill him and rubik was still able to steal spells afterwards Oh, bite! You only stole the net, but so it's still. not the biggest spell. <laughs> <laughs> you rather have a doom or Requiem of Souls, drag, amplify damage. Like too many choices. Okay, they smoke up. All right, so they want to try something aggressive here. Well, who will who will they be able to catch out? The Wraith Maybe Silent. He uh, doesn't have an games. ultimate for one minute. Game I think sense, it's I guess. yeah, spider sensor tingling. No one on the lane. Who do you want to go for? You want to go for silence and uh, place down a ward as well. So game sense tingling. In fact, you know this is perfect right here from M5 going back to push the top lane exactly on the other side of the map. As they send down a big AA blast here, he's gonna hit the two of them. I don't think they're able to really follow up with it. Oh, it's also scratches to doom, but not the full damage. No, they might just give up this tower. They're not really in a position to defend. They want to yeah. go aggressive. This, these wars just show that Empire is looking to get kills in the enemy jungle. They won't find anything just yet. 
spots, maybe later. That's the magic. No, that's not even the magic bush, but uh, they will ward up this hard camp here. Yeah, now they're gonna go for the rush. Dire speciality with amplified damages here. There's also a nice armor debuff coming out of the Shadow Fiend, so yeah, it's just gonna get brought down pretty much instantly. They are able to at least get a pick off before it's down. They kill well, but still, there we go. Able oh, actually hits all of them. Reckon so wound up, but it doesn't kill anybody. Silent even has his uh, blade move as well. He gets Glimpse back with no fear now. He's in a little bit of a pickle here. As Resolution walks in now, oh, he gets off an Echo Slam to kill off one, but he will still die in the end. Kundral dies first. That's gonna be his Aegis. The other four are already dead with the triple kill for Yoki and now Shelfiend. All alone, all dead. This was a sacrifice by the Earthshaker. Sacrifice he just made in order to get a good Echo Slam off, but in the end it just pays off. Getting a five man wipe onto the onto the Rosh and they're just denying the Aegis. I mean, great, they take Rosh, but you know what? They still lost that fight, and they lost it horribly. Maybe they are able to go low and say, no, he's just a little bit too tanky. Lift up here. He is getting low. Oh, AA Bless is going to hit him. Is, uh, is he going to go balls deep? He just needs to get the Shuring to toss him one. No, it's not going to work. It's too late already. He's too far away. Now Welp is alone. He gets blown up as well. AA Ultimate just takes down. This means that they actually have to pursue him here, but they're not able to do so because there's no detection on them. Dick and Mech, first heal for the win. <laughs> Just after the AI ultimate ended. Yeah, it wasn't a rage quit, uh, sadly. He came back to Disruptor, so. We still have a 5 versus 5 going on. Oh. Badly. I don't think rage quits are something to be sad about. I mean, like. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> oh, there well, we go. Uh, they kill off Big Man again. And this yeah. is Aloha Dad start taking over the game. Yeah, we need to see a rampage. If he doesn't get a rampage, uh, he has uh, some problems. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the, the the bounty not being able to kill off the Rubik is just hard. Yeah, yeah well, he's, uh, he was even fairly low on HP as well. Yeah, I mean, it was close. It was very close, but this Raptor called out dead. Ah, uh, this is a problem I just see a, a happening a lot in clubs. I believe it's just you know everyone. Uh, Starts running around on their own, farming the jungle on their own. And the problem with that is, what happens when a team starts playing five man dojo? And that as well. Well, but it's caught until end, but he's able to survive through it. Like, exactly like Empire. He, they're playing five man dojo because they have to almost with all their abilities. And they're just getting pick offs all over the map. Yeah, the most important thing for them actually to do is to make sure that they don't use the Echo Slam for no reason. It was some yeah. quite. Apart from that, their ultimates are pretty expendable. Maybe not the one for Rave King, but uh, you know, Rubik is ultimate. Yeah, even the Sonic Wave, she has an axe, so she. Can she has an axe now. Okay, I didn't see that. Yeah. Yeah, she can use it pretty much as she wants. Then it is really just look out for the Echo Slam and don't use Reincarnation for no reason. Apart from that, yeah, just group up and do whatever you want. And Reincarnation is level two. He's only two levels away from level sixteen. Uh, uh, fifty. Yeah, sixteen. At which yep. point he could just doesn't even have to care about reincarnation anymore because it's a mini cooldown. That's like nothing. Yeah, you just then you go aggressive, then you go full on. But until then, they just get big off again. Rubik was... actually going ballsy there, just opting for them, <laughs> hoping that the Earthshaker would come in later with the support. Of course, the Ice Blast of uh, eventually finishing him off. And yeah, they're gonna go for another tier two here. They still haven't even lost their tier two on bot, which has been seizing for like. Four minutes already. They're trying to set up something. And no, they're gonna go out now. They're gonna try and defend this. Big man comes in, but blinks out instantly. Mute two for two. Yeah, he can do anything. Here. And now the power will fall. And out they go. Backing off from the tower. Uh, it looks actually like bounty hunters scouting ahead, but the rest of the team isn't following. Yeah, it's uh, just now to see they where are. they're going. Silent almost has his uh, AC completed now. Oh dear, oh dear, Shadow Fiend managed to blink into the trees. Uh, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that happens to me uh, surprisingly often for some reason, I don't know why. Oh, I can think of a reason. <laughs> so just uh, don't, don't even say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Shadow Fiend, yeah, he's, he's uh, lagging behind a bit now, still only 2k and 3k on the co-op, co but yeah. Still, deficit is a deficit. They're about 10k on gold behind now. The graph is updated. Yeah, Same goes for experience. The problem also, like Big Mac, is 
on the exact same level as Rubik is right now. That is, uh, that uh, he's supposed to be a carry, isn't he? Yeah, he's position one, so he should be ahead, like by a lot. He should be on the level of Shadow Fiend right now. Hell, he should be on the level of the Wraith King if he was if he was farming consistent, like constantly. But he's been forced to like into fights which they just could not take. Yeah, now they also have like some other problems as well because uh, the supports are still be below level 11. Oh, I guess well, that's a little bit uh, ballsy here, but yeah, they're just starting to lag behind a bit on things and the support starts doing less. And as well as you have a bounty hunter, but you only have 9 kills in total against 25 on the other side. That's not worth it. That, that just shows that the bounty hunter hasn't been able to get done what needs to be done. They don't get the kills, they don't get the track hold, and from there on, you're just gonna be further and further behind. <sighs> It's, it's it's really just a shame because they did show potential into the first early minutes yeah they didn't get run over like that's the most important thing it's 25 minutes in they're gonna start getting some base oh nice glimpse back on silent though but even if you can kill and he comes back and the team can reinitiate on top of it you see silence not even really backing up that much he just walks a bit forward and frontwards it's just waiting for it, the gem though it right. was an effective glimpse it was a very effective glimpse yeah they tried it yeah, but it, it was on the wrong target. Yeah, you can't really do it on anybody else. Like, Yogi can just blink out instantly, need to use Static Storm for him, allow it and still support the resolution. He's always in the back. Radiant's Same goes for Nov here. Like, you don't... any target you glimpse back will have some method which they can just turn that whole glimpse situation back on you right now. Or you just blink forward, big man blown up. Yeah, Scorcher, not gonna do anything. You're hit by an AA ultimate here. Reckon Souls coming in the back from Shadow Feed. Is he able to pick up anybody here? As he just really surrounded him by four and a lower dance as the Reckon was soul stolen and just turns it straight back on top of him. Mew two for two. He's trying to follow up against Silent. Silent shows his ultimate. Turns around, throws in the stun, gets a crit or two. Easy peasy done. Now Faldo is trying to do it, but there's gonna be the GG already. As in the back line, Welp is able to get a kill, but uh, we'll have to pay for it with his life. And now Faldo as well. No rampages this game. But still, Empire wins pretty convincingly. But they had to show a little bit more of muscle this game. Yeah, the hyper aggression at the end, of course, paying off. Um, making sure that they could just, you know, win the game effectively and not have to slow siege in. I don't even think they would have had to slow siege in. Just wait for the next great wave and then <laughs> initiate a map. Like yeah, you just can blink in. You're, you're yeah. like, oh, thank you. Yeah, that's 20 minutes or so. That's more than 500 gold leads per minute. Yeah, Wraith King had an AC as well, which we forgot to mention. Which is also... No, just, we said. Know, like, he's going to get one now. Shiva was almost all, all com also completed on Queen of Pain. So it's just... Yeah, we're just going to get the next set of items fairly soon anyway. So even if that push just didn't go as well as it did, they would have still most likely won the next one as... The dire side just wasn't ready to pick up the next tier items. Yeah. I mean, once again, I feel like, you know, the, the fights, Empire did lose some fights, of course. But the fights they lost were just fights they took because they were overconfident. And they jumped into positions which they couldn't fight in. But all the other fights that they did take, they all, uh, were just abusing the uh, UK Dota's positioning. Just being out of position, being out of, you know, just, just not being together, not being grouped up, not being able to fight Empire. And really, that's... How it should go. You need to just abuse everything that you can get in Dota 2. Indeed. And also said by one of our chatters here, Doom Ultimate was used only once, so we'll believe him on that one. As we're just going to the break, we'll uh, soon be back with the next match in this uh, major open qualifier. We're gonna follow Team Empire to the road of victory. So, hope to see you guys soon again. I'm Sander at, at Sander underscore Dota, hello me. And, and I am is at Morality. Morality underscore clause there we go see you guys soon